So in this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at the Polygon Pen Tool in Cinema 4D version 16. Uh, first, I'm going to start in the modeling layout. So if you just click here and choose modeling, you'll notice we have this Polygon Pen Tool down here. So I'm just going to select it, click on it. And I'm just going to lock this panel. So if the panel isn't locked, just click on this icon here and it keeps this panel open constantly. So I'm just going to start in the top view and I'm going to create a few points just simply by clicking. Make sure you're in points mode here because each mode, like line mode and polygon mode, has a different type of behavior. So I'm just going to uh, start with point mode and I'm going to create a base, something simple. accidentally selected something here. So that's basically created a flat polygon on the ground and it's an n-gon which means it has more than uh, four sides. So what we can do is we can basically uh, create lines between these vertexes. So that's now a four-sided face. So it kind of basically snaps uh, point to point when you create a new line but you can also snap onto a line anywhere on the line. So if I just click here, it snaps to that uh, edge and then we can snap anywhere along the next line, which is useful for creating cross sections. If I control drag an edge, it basically creates a new polygon. And if I move this close to a point, it kind of snaps and it welds the two edges together, which is pretty useful. And that's because uh, auto weld is checked. So if we uncheck that, it doesn't snap to uh, any vertexes. So it depends, uh, but usually you'll want auto weld checked. Uh, another interesting option is if you control shift, hold down control and then shift, go near uh, an edge, it starts kind of curving out like a semicircle. And if you just click, it basically transforms that uh, straight edge into a curved edge. So I'm just going to control shift and you don't have to click, just as soon as you hold down control and shift, it starts kind of uh, bending the edge. Now if I click and then move left and right, it actually adjusts the subdivisions. So I'm still holding down control and shift here and I'm going to keep it quite low like this and I'm just going to let go and that's created this new uh, low poly curve. So I'm just going to go to face mode now and I'm going to go to my perspective view. So if we control drag while in face mode, it's the same as an extrude operation. Um, if I control drag this face, you'll see that um, everything welds together. So it's not like this face has a, a hidden wall and this face has a hidden wall um, kind of intersecting between them. It just kind of welds everything together. So the geometry is nice and clean. But if I was to check create clo planar edge on extrude, that means uh, it won't weld this face and this new and this new face here together. And if I just select the polygon on top and move it out, you'll notice that uh, each polygon has its own kind of wall. So if you uncheck this, uh, these walls kind of weld together, which is what you basically want most of the time. So you'll notice also uh, with face mode, I'm just gonna go back to the top view. We have this kind of circle and if we hold down middle mouse, we can actually adjust the size of the circle. So this is basically like a brush. And if I now just kind of click and draw, it's creating a polygon strip and it automatically welds if it gets near uh, any other geometry. So if I just go back to my perspective view, we created this, painted this new strip that kind of connected to our uh, first piece of geometry. So lots of powerful tools hidden within the Polygon Pen Tool, lots of different modes and um, options. So that's a quick introduction to the Polygon Pen Tool. Uh, there's a few other uh, little kind of subtle things you can do with it, but I'm just going to uh, leave it there for now. 
and um, please share this on Facebook and Twitter. And thanks for watching.